I don't make videos about wrestling, WWE, Vince McMahon, etc. This channel is titled Spiritual Awakenings. So my topics are usually God, life, how to get through your spiritual journey, how to feel a spiritual connection with God. I share testimonies and biblical teachings and encouragement. However, I was intrigued by the recent story in January 2024 about these horrific allegations against Vince McMahon, who has been the head of WWE for many decades. So if you're a wrestling fan, you know who I'm referring to. If you're not, you can Google Vince McMahon and see the, the most recent allegations against him. Now to make a long story very short, Vince McMahon purchased his father's small regional wrestling organization back in 1982 and turned it into the nationwide and then uh, international World Wrestling Federation. And I was a wrestling fan since 1986. I came into wrestling in the era of Hulkamania and WrestleMania. Perhaps if you're a wrestling fan, perhaps your memories of McMahon go back to the era of Vince McMahon coming out to the ring against Stone Cold Steve Austin and the era of The Rock and uh, The Undertaker. My memories go back to the era of Hulk Hogan and Junkyard Dog and Rowdy Roddy Piper and Vince McMahon doing commentary. So a lot has been said about him over the years. Lots of interviews, lots of people talking about their experiences with him and working with Vince McMahon. There has been in the past couple of decades, people who've been talking, doing interviews, uh, making allegations and accusations about inappropriate behavior, unprofessional behavior, misconduct. And by the way, trigger warning right here, trigger warning. Because there has been over the past decade or two, again, accusations about McMahon uh, committing misconduct, bad behavior. Um, and it's been... An investigation here, an investigation there, no huge consequences against him until now. Again, in January 2024, a former woman employee is making allegations against Vince McMahon and others about horrific uh, sexual abuse, manipulation, and apparently she signed an, an NDA non-disclosure agreement and was supposed to receive $3 million and only received $1 million and is now making her accusations and just horrific allegations public. And I won't go into the details. You, you can Google the, the actual allegations right now. Uh, it will all come out through a legal process. But the things that she is alleging that were done to her by him and others are just evil. I mean, the most sick and depraved kind of behavior that you can imagine going on in a hotel room. So, again, I don't want to recount the allegations that they are that disturbing and awful. So this woman is coming forward. She is brave after reading the allegations and her side of the story and hearing uh, his comments. I believe her. I think she's being honest and truthful. It's just so tragic what she went through. Um, I don't believe him and his dispute. I believe her. And I can't imagine what she went through. And this is affecting her and her family. This is affecting the McMahon family, uh, all with the WWE employees. I mean, this is like a, having a ripple effect. It's reverberating through the company and just all the wrestling fans. Anybody that loves wrestling or knows 
Vince McMahon. I mean, heck, even his grandchildren will eventually hear about this whispered or talked about uh, on in, in school and in chat rooms on social media. I mean, this is going to be a ripple effect that will affect a lot of people. And so the wrestling business will go on, but this is really, truly something sick and depraved. And so I want to talk about this in the context of our society. That's where I think the, the relevance is for you and I. We're living in a Me Too era in which a lot of bad behavior that was quietly known, hidden, in secret is being revealed. And that's a good thing. And that's where it's relevant for you and I. Whether you're a wrestling fan and you know exactly who McMahon is or not, either way, these allegations against McMahon are one part of a whole situation happening right now in which a lot of secret sin and hidden evil is being disclosed, revealed. And that's a good thing. I think for decades, people, especially men, in positions of power have been able to get away with a lot of bad behavior. And I say that as a man. It's unfortunate, but I think it's true. And so this situation, this scandal, these allegations connect with society because to me, this is one more example of somebody who is rich, famous, and powerful being credibly accused of wrongdoing. And this fits in with Matt Lauer and Bill Cosby and Harvey Weinstein, to name three well-known famous examples, but also so many elected officials, lesser known actors and Hollywood producers, people at Disney, clergy, unfortunately, I, I hate to say it, but clergy, police officers, I think I said elected officials, people in positions of power, local authority, wider authority, uh, company CEOs, they're doing bad, they're doing evil and sin in secret. Some of it a crime, some of it simply just immoral, just adulterous, but it's being revealed. Again, what Matt Lauer, Bill Cosby, Harvey Weinstein did is being revealed. And I believe that what Vince McMahon probably did do is being revealed. The Bible talks about this. The Bible says, be sure your sin will find you out. The Bible says in Isaiah 3.11, the wicked are doomed for they will get exactly what they deserve. Proverbs 24.20, for evil people have no future. The light of the wicked will be snuffed out. And I think the light of Vince McMahon's life is being snuffed out. He can't just cosplay as simply a benign billionaire who employs thousands of employees anymore. He can't just cosplay as a good and decent Chairman of WWE, not anymore. All the evil and bad is coming out. Job 8.13, such is the destiny of all who forget God. So the hope of, of the godless will perish. And this McMahon in the past, on his wrestling show, has mocked God. And we know that the Bible says in Galatians chapter 5 that God will not be mocked, which is a little part of his whole life. Isaiah 3 verses 10 and 11. Tell the righteous it will be well with them, for they will enjoy the fruit of their labor. Woe to the wicked. Disaster is upon them. They will be paid back for what their hands have done. 
And I'm afraid this man's hands had done a lot of evil. Ecclesiastes 8.13 Yet because the wicked do not fear God, nor respect of God, it will not go well with them, and their days will not lengthen like a shadow. And finally, Romans 2, verses 6 through 10, it says that God will repay each person according to what they have done. To those who by persistence in doing good seek glory, honor, and immortality, God will give eternal life. But for those who are self-seeking and reject the truth and follow evil, there will be wrath and anger. There will be trouble and distress for every human being who does evil, but glory and honor and peace for everyone who does good. So every Weinstein, every Cosby, every McMahon is a cautionary tale for the rest of us. A warning for you and I. If we do good, we will have glory and honor and peace a clear conscience, and be able to enjoy our lives. But for those who do evil, for those who are self-seeking, reject the truth and follow evil, there will be trouble, distress, wrath, and anger from God. And if any words describe these rich and famous celebrities, it would be self-seeking, and reject the truth and follow evil, those three things. So just make sure it's not you. If you're doing something you know you shouldn't be doing, repent now. If you are being abused or hurt, emotionally abused, manipulated, gaslit, tell somebody, talk to somebody, get out of an abusive relationship. Because this kind of abuse and misconduct happens all the time behind closed doors by people like you and I, average Joes. It's not just the Weinsteins and the Cosbys. It's not just the Matt Lowers and the Vince McMahons. It's people like you and I every day, unfortunately, in workplaces, in homes. So leave an abusive relationship. Strive for the best in your life. Never tolerate disrespect or abuse. And if you see the evil that people do, and I'll say the evil that men do a lot of times, and it infuriates you, remember, God will not let it go on forever. What a person sows, they're going to reap. So I believe it is judgment day to a lesser degree for McMahon right now. In the future, he will face an angry God. That I believe. I do believe that he is the Harvey Weinstein of the wrestling business. So the main thing for us to know is that this is one part of the overall uh, revealing of people's lives. Eventually, the truth comes out about all of us. So have character, live with integrity, make sure your life matches your talk, be the best person that you can be. If you've done something wrong, apologize, make amends, confess your sins, and repent. And just know that these evil individuals that you see in the news that infuriate you, they're going to come down. Humpty Dumpty will have a big fall. So thank you for watching. Take care. God bless and love your life.